Welcome back. For anyone who doesn't know what this is or who I am, my name's Brittany Raymond. I'm an actor and dancer who played Riley on The Next Step, seasons one to four. I think it, a little bit of five. And um, I'm reacting to my time on that show here. Reacting to the drama on the show, talking about the behind the scenes of all the things that we filmed here. I feel like most people watching this will know by now, but it doesn't matter. Okay, I've decided this episode is gonna be the no nonsense episode. We're not gonna be doing too much of this talking thing. We're just gonna get straight to the reaction, okay? No nonsense. Let's get to the recap. Previously on the next step, we are reminded that Riley lost her big sister because she overthrew her as dance captain, went behind her back. Riley lost her relationship with her sister. They're really on rocky terms. And that caused Emily to betray the team and go to their biggest competitor, Elite. Stephanie's audition didn't go very well. In fact, the director decided to make fun of her in a really shitty way. Riley and James go on a date and it was lovely and it was the perfect first date for Riley. Um, and I guess James too, he said that he liked it, I think, if I remember. They didn't have his talking head in this for some reason. So remember when I said that Emily went to Elite? Well, Stephanie went with her and she didn't get in, so she had to come back begging the next step to bring her back into A Troop. And then Michelle was like, yeah, girl, you can come back in. We know you can dance. And then Tiffany is kind of hoping maybe they can be friends again. So I'm assuming that they're gonna reconnect here. Michelle is feeling something inside of her for Eldon like they did a duet and and she's like feeling things and she hopes he feels it too. So let's find out what happens there. Me and Michelle were looking at each other and I don't know, it just feels really easy and natural. I don't, I'm just, I don't really know what I feel right now. The next step loves a good love triangle, hey? I feel like they have at least one of these every season or every like few years or so. There's some sort of a love triangle going on. She's <laughs> such an amazing dancer. Victoria almost laughing. That was so cute. Okay, just make sure. I do, th I do this to, to check like how much space I have to make sure I'm centered. Good. How's the lead going? It's great. I mean, it is kind of like the next step. These girls and boys have been together forever. They're they're really good friends, and trying to kind of find my niche and all that is a little more difficult than I thought it would be. Emily is such like a like a um professional. I don't know. Very like capable, like very mature. That's the word I'm looking for. She's very mature, sort of sometimes. She's not, what am I saying? She's not really mature. In this moment, in that talking head, in that one thing that she said, she's very mature there. Not exactly at elite with me though, right? Well, uh, you could carry a photo of me. I... That's so weird to me. <laughs> I'm sure you'll make friends eventually. I really hope so. I do feel bad about these feelings I've been having for Michelle, but the best thing to do is just forget about her. I know I want to be with Emily. Yeah, I mean, you've been dating Emily for, or wanting, pining after Emily for years. It's like part of your whole story was that he wants to be with Emily and now that he's with her, he's like, oh, I guess now I kind of want the other thing that I can't have. Wanting what you can't have. Seems to be a theme in this show. Interesting. Right now I'm on the phone with my agent. My last audition, I ended up being a laughing stock. Don't really want to ever go through that again. It is true, auditioning's very hard the industry can like truly eat you alive. It's really difficult. And I can understand why Stephanie is feeling quite like scarred from that whole experience and doesn't really want to go out on another audition again. I'm assuming Tiffany's gonna like talk her into it at this point and then they're gonna rebond. Steph, call them back. Tell them you're gonna take it. Come on, I this is what you me. wanted to do. Yes, Jamie. Good, Reagan. Emily, can you stretch your feet, please? So fun fact about all these elite dancers, I feel like I've said this in a past video, but whatever, I'm gonna repeat myself. I don't know what his name is in this, but he's called Alan Lupian in real life. And that is actually Isaac's dad in real life. And you can totally see the resemblance because once you see it, you can't unsee it. They look so alike. And the studio elite that we compete uh, compete with is the actual studio that Eldon or Isaac really go went to in real life. It's like his dad's studio. And so all of those dancers are the dancers who Isaac danced with. So they had all of these routines already set and so they had to rework 
workshop them to bring Amanda into them and have her be like the star. And then also they all t they had to do like a little routine like this to have Emily into it. Just a little fun fact for you. Oh God, this oh, I scene. I forgot about this scene. I forgot about this scene. Okay, so um, I, I, I'm gonna watch it first and then see. I want to talk to Emily and fix things. Mom's waiting in. Emily. What? Can we talk for a minute? All right. Wow. How do I unpack this? Um, I I ream Alex out like I just freaking let her have it. It's not always about you, Em. I was doing it for the team, and it's not always about you either, Riley. And I think I, if I remember correctly, I remember doing it a couple times first and not finding that, like not finding the depth of it because I was just sort of like doing it with her, like whatever. And then um, Frank had said, like you know, essentially deepen it. He was asking me to deepen it and I didn't really know or understand how to do that yet, but I somehow found a way to kind of get this like anger and I think I was just getting frustrated that I wasn't getting the scene and it bode well because then I was able to find it and like kind of throw it at, at Alex. I'm still your sister, Em. I'm right here and I, I don't know what else to do. I don't know what else to do. I remember just like apologizing to her because I was like, I feel so bad. I was like really harsh with you. And she was like, it's really okay. Like, it's good. It's part of, it's a part of it. It's fine. Yeah, this, this was a hard scene to film for obvious reasons. I'm, I'm a little heartbroken after watching that scene. Wow. But I will say, I think I did a really good job considering I had no experience. I don't know my big sister anymore. It means I gotta grow up a little bit. Rewatching the show must come along with a lot of memories. It's a simple question, but what was your favorite moment on the set of TNS on the show? Was there any particular storyline that you absolutely loved or hated? This is actually a really difficult question to answer because it's been so long since I filmed this. Um, so I'm gonna base this all on season one stuff that I've watched so far. I would say my favorite moment to film would have been the beach episode. It was such a great, cool, fun day. We were literally filming on a beach. We did a full dance routine on a beach and that song that we danced to was so fun. It's very like Hillary Duff meets, I don't know, like Sweet Life of Zack and Cody. I don't know. It's like the perfect Disney song. It's perfect for a show like this. And I loved Lizzie McGuire growing up and it kind of reminded me of that vibe. My most hated moments on the show were the scene with me and Emily that where we like ream each other out. I thought I, that's so awful. It just like, I can't, I was putting myself through hell to try to get this like deep emotional place. And I mean, it worked kind of, but I think there was a better way to play that for sure. And so I hated it. I hated watching it. No, you want to know what my, my least favorite part about this experience was? Is these reaction videos rewatching myself acting. <laughs> Maybe I am a backrow dancer. You're new to one of the most prestigious studios in the country. You'll work your way up there. I still don't know how I feel about our relationship. Okay. That whole dynamic, Eldon giving her the pep talk, being like, you're at a really hard school. You're going to work your way up. Everything worth something is difficult. I think that is such good advice. I love that they had that scene in there. That's so sweet. I really like that. <laughs> Amanda complimenting me is a good feeling. She doesn't want me to fail. That is such a good feeling when your dance teacher, it's usually the teacher, not like the dance captain or whatever, but when your teacher is like, like gives you a compliment, because it, because they don't just give those out. Like at least the really good ones don't. They don't like just say like, great job no matter what. They'll tell you when you did something good. And when you didn't do something, they'll like, they'll more often tell you the things you need to work on than the things that you're doing well. Actually, that's not true. They'll tell you things that you're doing good, but usually it's like earned, so it like feels good. Whatever, I'm just trying to say I relate to what Emily's saying, you know. God, why am I being so weird about it? Come on, everyone, be like Emily! Oh, now all of a sudden she's like, the girl! I want you to move up to the middle row on the walks. Really? Thank you. What? Why would he do- okay, no! Not in the middle of the rehearsal, just change the formation automatically. We won't tell anyone else. You just do it. No one else will know. And you're just going to do... Whose spot is she taking? How is everyone else going to adapt to her changing 
huh maybe a dancer is missing and he's like just take her spot i don't know maybe there's context here that we're missing and we buy it because whatever and also anyone who's not in a dance studio isn't going to know the difference but wow that makes me so nervous just knowing that i can go to elden for those kinds of things and he'll be there for me and he'll support me no matter what it just brings us a lot closer together oh you don't know though you don't know that Emily and Michelle or that Michelle and Eldon are actually like getting closer. Eee. That's kind of gross. Is this really fuzzy? Am I am I not in focus here? Hold on. Okay, that's better. Cheesy joke coming up. Warning. Um just like Emily and Eldon's love. This camera was not in focus. Uh. I know. <laughs> I know. Yeah, man, it was cool, yeah. Whatever, like, it was just cool, man. It's only fair that James got to make fun of my laugh. Yo, man, what up? Yeah, uh-huh. So then, uh, who talks like that? I agree. <laughs> Oh, I remember this. Um, I run. Where am I running from? <laughs> I remember this. I remember them saying, you're just running in from the thing. And I remember freaking out because I was like, I don't understand the logic of this. Like, where am I coming from? And like, I, it's up to me to just like figure out like the logic so that it makes sense for me. But again, I didn't know that at this time. So I would remember being like, I don't understand how, what am I supposed to be? How is, why am I just running in from anywhere? I don't know how to fix this one, okay? I don't know what to do. Remember the time when I was supposed to feed the kittens? Oh my gosh, the little like <laughs> flip around that I did, which was like so dancer. Like, I don't know what that what that is called. There's a term for it, like a swivel. It's a swivel. I just swiveled and I did it in a very dancer way. And it's so <laughs> funny. I mean, I guess, that, no, you know what? It kind of makes sense though, because she's a dancer. So it fits. And it turned out that none of us were feeding the kittens when really mom was feeding the kittens. Well, maybe we just need to feed each other. Like, you can be the sister I need and I'll be the sister you need. I also kind of wish that we were given scripts so that I could be a little bit more meticulous with a sort of pathway that I could take generally. Because again, like, this whole scene was probably just like, very loosely written and there was some improvising that we would do but then they would give us lines and like help us along particularly me because i'm not as comfortable with it this season but other than that i thought it was a nice scene i don't know i'm, I'm just still a little confused as to whether we're in a relationship or not so ask him really yeah guys like it when you're straight up no games cute Question, what was it like meeting everyone in the cast from season one? Like, did you know slash recognize some from some from competitions or whatnot? I know you already knew Brennan, lol. I was just about to say, I already knew Brennan. A lot of them I knew from competitions. I knew Vic Baldessera who played Michelle. Uh, she danced at my studio's like sister studio. Isaac I knew because our studios competed against each other. Jenny I knew vaguely, Sam as well. Trevor we also competed with or against at a competition once. Lamar I didn't know, Alex I didn't know, T Tamina I didn't know. Uh, so I met all of them actually in the callbacks, I think it was like the, we did like the first initial audition and then the next day they did a callback which was really just like a promotional experiment day, shoot day kind of thing. Then like almost a year later they did another round of callbacks where they brought in even more people, they recast some of the roles and then like the first day on set is when I really met everyone for the first time for real. I don't really remember m meeting everybody, I just remember it being really like nerve-wracking because you're sort of in a room full of all these extroverted people. Everyone for the most part was very extroverted and wanted to like ch chat and like connect. And I wasn't an extroverted person, but I kind of thought I had to be. Like even through this whole show, I sort of tried to force this idea of being an extroverted person. Cause again, I thought I needed to be that in order to be on a show like this. And it's actually not the case. In fact, if you're someone who's more introverted, I find that you're in more, more in touch with your own inner world and you're able to kind of bring that into the work if you can find the bravery. Yeah, so I found it, I found a hard time connecting with 
people. But I do remember by the end of the summer, we all felt really close, we all felt really connected, and um, yeah, it was a lot of fun to just like learn this new thing and be on this show for the first time. It was the most of our first experiences doing something like this, so we all kind of were in the trenches together trying to figure it out, so that was cool. Alda and I decided to show a tube our duet. I hope they like wow, it. Wow, this is the third time we're seeing this one dance routine. This is something, like I talked about this before, that in later seasons this would never happen in like the latest season of The Next Step where you repeat a routine, never. It's like, you're just doing choreography, they're just like rehearsing something, but the routine that we see, when we see it once, it's like we see it in its, in its entirety and then never again, just so that there's not like repetitiveness. But I kind of liked it because then we could sort of rehearse it for real in Studio A and then you don't have to has, have as many rehearsals afterwards or like beforehand with that routine because you can kind of workshop it in the moment. I know he's supposed to be on a date with Emily right now. Eldon, forgetting something? Emily, date, ring a bell. I got a little too distracted with Michelle. Yikes. Um, <laughs> I would do that scene differently, too. <laughs> Are we in a relationship? <laughs> Did you just ask me that question? Okay, I'm being serious. <laughs> I, I don't know. Do you want to be in a relationship? I wouldn't be asking if I didn't want to. Is that a yes? Finally, she does like me back, and it makes me feel great. Just give me one second. And then they became such a hot mess. We know where this goes. Oof. Oh boy. Part of me kind of remembered <laughs> that I was supposed <laughs> Just a straight sprint through the park to get to his date. So much focus and attention on getting to that date. It's like that scene from Get Out. <laughs> It's kind of shocking to see, honestly. I must have grabbed one of Stephanie's shoes by accident. Stephanie's <laughs> shoes? How, how big are Stephanie's feet? It isn't really what you do, it's what you do it When Emily said that, it made me realize I'd rather be with Michelle. Oh no. You saw that look on his face? He was like... <laughs> Yikes, dude. You've got yourself in a pickle indeed. Okay. Yeah, Emily, this whole season is just like love triangles, drama, breaking hearts, and like, God, people are gonna, you know, get their heart broken, whatever. That's all. That's all for this video. Thank you for watching. This video has been so freaking long. I don't know how I'm gonna edit all of this. Now Ben and I are gonna go play Mario Kart now. Right, Ben? Huh? We're gonna go play Mario Kart? Yeah, let's do it. Okay, cool. Bye.